Good morning. The June 5th, 2019 meeting of the Board of Estimates is now called to order. In the interest of promoting the order and efficiency of these hearings, persons who are disruptive to the hearing will be asked to leave the hearing room. Meetings of the Board of Estimates are open to the public for the duration of the meeting. The hearing room must be vacated at the conclusion of the meeting. Failure to comply may result in a charge of trespassing. Madam Deputy Comptroller, are there any corrections, additions, or deferrals on the agenda? I said good morning for today's agenda. There are two corrections. The first is on page 29, and it's a continuation of item number 12. At the top of page 29, it reads P2 Cleaning Services, LLC. Under the endorsement from Imbu, it currently reads in bold text, Imbu found vendor in non-compliance. That is incorrect. That should read um, Imbu found vendor in compliance. We're going to add the actual date, which would be May 3rd, 2019. That line will now read Imbu found vendor in compliance on May 3rd, 2019. On page 61, which is a continuum of an item on page 60, under the MBE WBE participation on the fifth line, the MBU uh, text in bold, which says MBU found vendor in non compliance, should be deleted and replaced with MBU approved the EAR on October 16th, 2018. In addition, the board received a supplemental letter. Uh, for the protest for page 49, number 5, which is B5000554, Management of Parking Garages, Group 4. The correspondence was from Gordon Feinblatt on behalf of Dennis uh, Enterprises, and they are requesting to address the board on that item. That item, page 49, number 5, will be on the non-routine agenda. I have the following deferrals. For pages six to seven, it is being deferred for one week. Pages 50 to 57 are being deferred for two weeks. And page 31, item number two, is being deferred for one week. I have the following abstentions to report. For the Honorable Mayor Young, he will abstain on page 48, item number three. For the Honorable President Scott, he will abstain on pages 28 to 29, item number 12. And for the Honorable Comptroller Pratt, there are no abstentions. And again, the item that remains on the non-routine agenda is page 49, number five. Mr. President and members of the board, those are the corrections, the deferrals, as well as the abstentions that have been reported thus far. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Deputy Comptroller. Before we move on, I'd like to recognize fresh off a plane from Japan, Councilman Ryan Dorsey has joined us this morning. The mayor says the mayor is, says that he's he's glad they uh, allowed you through check to come back into the country, Mr. Councilman. <laughs> I would direct the board members' attention to the memorandum from my office dated June 3rd, 2019, identifying matters to be considered as routine agenda items together with any corrections and additions that have been noted by the Deputy Comptroller. I will entertain a motion to approve all of the items contained on the routine agenda. Mr. President, I so move. I second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. The motion carries. The routine agenda items have been adopted. The first item on the non-routine agenda can be found on page 49, item 5, recommendations for contract, awardees, rejections, management of parking garages, group 4. Will the parties please come forward? Good morning, everybody. Uh, Madam, do you have anything else, more from last week? Yes, good morning, Aaron Chesmith, City Purchasing Agent for the Bureau of Procurement. Um, I wanted to reiterate that I have addressed all of the issues that were raised in the protest, as well in the supplemental. The um, issues are that the uh, recommended awardee was not on the bidder's list, which we have shown, shown is actually untrue. They were on the bidder's list and they received all the documents and they were found responsive. The other issue is that the price is unreasonable. We addressed 
that clearly. The contract, the solicitation said anything under a dollar would be unreasonable, therefore the opposite is true. A dollar and up is considered reasonable and the evaluation committee found it so. The last issue that was brought up was that this process is manifestly unfair to small businesses. However, that is also untrue as uh, both the protesting vendor and uh, the, the next uh, uh, vendor in, in line for award, PMS, another local vendor, have both been successful three different times under the same method of award. And therefore, while they're not successful on this actual recommendation, they have been previously under the same method. And therefore, I ask the board to reject the protest and award the contract as recommended to SP+. Thank you. Thank you. Ma'am, understanding that we heard the protests at our last meeting, do you have anything additional to add? Yes, very briefly. Thank you, um, Mr. President and members of the board. Say your name. Maggie Say Witherup your name. on behalf of Gordon Feinblatt for Danis Enterprise, Inc. Um, just want to reiterate that Danis is a small minority local business that is in joint venture with Impark and um, has been successfully managing garages, parking garages for 25 years. The potential awardee in this case has submitted a proposal to manage three premium garages for 33 cents per month and 34 <laughs> cents per month for each garage. You know, we do believe that that was non-responsive. I understand that that was, um, that has been considered and rejected. But I think the board should also be concerned by this extremely low price proposal. It is so low that we believe that it constitutes predatory pricing, which would be an antitrust violation. And you can, should consider that very seriously. Uh, look at the entire circumstances of this proposal and this award. And we think it can only be viewed as an intent to, to force competition out of the market. Um, it is impossible to run a, to manage a garage at the proposed amount of the bid. Uh, the management fees include things like bookkeeping and accounting, um, training, human resources support, and I think there's a very real concern here that an unreasonably low management fee is going to affect the performance of the contract and result in neglect um, and low performance. Uh, it may look good in the short run, uh, to have a price proposal that is so low. And certainly, we all want to save money, and the city wants to save money, I understand that. But we do not believe it is in the best interest of the city to accept this award because it is so unreasonably low. So we request that the, um, the award be rejected to the proposed offeree. Madam Comptroller. Yeah, I, I have a couple questions. So the $36 management fee, it appears that that is the break even. So the SP is not making a profit. Can they answer that? Um, I don't. I don't no, think. I'm the event is, is SP. SP yeah. yeah. Can you come up and explain the management fee of thirty six dollars and so why? Why you're morning. come up and identify yourself on the microphone, please. Morning, Alex Schuler, regional manager, SP Plus. Um, in the parking business, there are several cost plus items. Most of us are self insured. So the way we presented it to the selection committee is that uh, we are able to make enough profit uh, with the liability insurance due to our successful risk platforms. So that's where we make our profit. Uh, I would also like to say that we successfully run four other properties with a much similar management fee, and we've been very successful in that. We were awarded three last year. And we've also been running Lexington Garage, which is one of the ones in this bid for the past 15 or 20 years successfully. So because you're self-insured, you're not paying a fee to, uh, you're not paying a premium. And so what is the rationale or how do you allocate mm -hmm. the insurance that the city is paying? So the city dictates the budget to us and they say well, you are able to, the budget is for say it's $2,400 for insurance. And that's what we bill the city for insurance. And if we are successful in our risk platform and we're able to turn a profit. And so all your other costs in the pro forma are actual expenditures other than the self-insurance? Correct. Okay. Mr. Mayor. Um, how many garages are you managing in the city? We have about uh, about 30 garages. That you manage? Correct. How many of them are city garages? Four. Four. This would make it six. 
Which four are they? Uh, Caroline, Fleet, and Eden, uh, Little Italy, and Lexington. Thank you. Okay, I will entertain a motion. Mr. President, having heard the uh, protests as supplemented by Council's argument, uh, I would move to reject the protests and follow the recommendation of procurement and award as recommended. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, note, note that President Scott abstains. As there is no board business, more business before the board, we will recess until bid opening at 12 noon. Thank you. Made a new cup of coffee. Oh, you need one of those kind of portable mugs that uh, people have. Well, I have them, the uh, but I already filled this one up. So. Okay, I understand. Mayberry we have our mm -hmm. School of Rock. Throwing. Rock. <laughs> Uh, do you remember Ernest T. Bass? Oh, how about, that's <laughs> cute. Thank you. That's, I love Ms. it. Ms. Morton gave me yes. that. <laughs> she finds nice things. Uh -huh. She does. Good afternoon. The board is now in session for the receiving and opening of bids. I have the following addendum to read for today. <clears throat> B50005669. Dental Health Maintenance Organization. DHMO and Dental Preferred Provider Organization Plan. Please change the bid due date from June 5th to June 12th, 2019. Okay. B5000 5653. Life and Accidental Death and Dismemberment, dismemberment Insurance for Employee and Retirees. <clears throat> Please change the bid due date from June 5th, 2019 to June 12th, 2019. Ms. Armstrong, I have a third one on my That there's nothing on there. It's not a problem. Okay. Oh, that's my. I don't even. I'm okay. I'm fine. Thank you. I wanted to make sure I was correct. Uh, GS 17811, Northeastern District Police Station Improvements and Roof Replacement. Please change the bid due date from June 5th to June 12th, 2019. Those are the addenda for today. Okay, and all three are noted for the record. Okay. Okay, okay, let's see what we got here. I'm missing that. It's number one. Thank you. Thanks, I think I was okay. Thank you. That's all one bid. That's one bid? Yes. From one person? No. no okay. Contract. One con uh, One contract. One person. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought I said it wrong. If uh, imprecise oh, language. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? B5000-5653. Flexible Spending Account Administration. A bid guarantee is not required. Looks like these all belong together. If this is the original. Benefit Strategies LLC, B 
Baker Tilly Vantagen LLC, 138,909 dollars. Total Administrative Services Corp. $105,948. Could you repeat that? Yes, sure. Please. Again, it was for Total Administrative Services Corp. $105,948. Thank you. Sure. Wage Works Inc. One hundred seventeen thousand seven hundred twenty dollars. Connect Your Care, LLC, Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
So these bids will be referred to procurement for review. B five zero 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 five seven six five OEM parts and services for General Motors heavy duty trucks. No bids were received. zero 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 five seven seven one OEM parts and service for Dodge Chrysler Jeep vehicles a bid security is not required Heritage Dodge, 689,375 dollars. This will be referred to the Bureau of Procurement for Review. Okay. B five zero 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 five seven seven six OEM parts and service for Doosan heavy equipment. No bids were received. There being no further business, we are adjourned. <laughs>